Okay. I'll go get ready then, boss. Uh, I'll be sure to come to work tonight. Okay. Remember, you need to work hard, huh? Do a good job. I'll see you tonight. Sure, no problem. <laughs> oh, hold on. Don't forget to bring your ID. You can't work without one. Uh, actually, I've lost it, but as soon as I get a new one, that's the very first thing I'll give you, sir. Okay. Thank you, boss. Um, we'll go ahead. There. I've already found myself a good job, so you should go back to school. Focus on school and don't care for anything else. Don't be carefree and rely on a handsome face, it's not gonna feed you. Forget it. Be serious, okay? You left school, and so did Miss Lin. School literally means nothing to me now. It's normal to feel left out, Zed. I mean it. When I suffered from having a broken family, how did the other students treat me? You were there, Zed, right? What you should do is to adjust your mindset. You know that, don't you? What could I do? I had to be strong, because school is one thing, but life is another. I managed to get by. You felt left out because some were snobbish. How will it be for me? My mother annoyed the whole class. No one will forgive me, Harry. <sighs> Come on, don't worry about that. They'll pay less and less attention to you as the days go by. It won't be long before something else distracts them and you've forgotten. Listen, you know what? You won't win or lose here. If you can survive, you'll be the boss. Oh, speaking of which, I heard that your boss, the bar owner, is a nice guy. So, uh, take me to work with you. Maybe we'll be famous in the entertainment circle, like those guys Hey, who... uh, stop it. Stop talking. Never mention it again, okay? Think about your mom. Is she the same as my mother? Do you think she'll manage if she hears what you want to do? You're gonna kill her if you do that, Zed. Hey, Harry, wait! Hello, beautiful. Here's your coffee. Enjoy. What's wrong? What's with the face? I can help you if you want. You can't even handle the small cafe. How can you help me? What did I tell you before? You don't understand, man. Do you know how many breakups and encounters I witness here in the cafe every day? Life is more cheesy than TV shows, I tell you. You can hardly imagine it. For example, in the next lane, those over there? No, no, listen, Wei. You're on the outside looking in. I'm usually good at laying out these things, but right now, I'm just having a pretty hard time figuring out how I should start. It's a stretch. All right, fine. Keep thinking of ways, okay? Call me if you need me. I'll be right here. Mm. You're here. Why do you look like you just embarrassed yourself? You see, four hours ago, I told Olivia that I like her. She rejected me. Oh. Is that so? What do you really think of her anyway? Do you really have to ask me that? I... I'm not getting any younger, Jack. Do you get what I'm saying? I want to get in a relationship and get married. That's it. But... You know, I understand why she refused me. She just got out of our relationship, and it must be hard for her to trust another guy right away. Rejected? Rejected. Come on, why did you give up so easily when she refused you? Hey, Phil, it's not your style, I know that. When you got rejected at 20, you sulked for six months. About half a month when you were 30, and now? How long will it be now that you're 40? I'm 35. You look like you're 40. Give it a few minutes, then pluck up courage and move forward like a hero. Be sincere, be honest, and move her to bits. Yeah, that's right. Are you right. saying that I'm not sincere? I even gave her a key to my villa. When Jack asked me to borrow it, I refused him. You deserve it. I just... I mean, uh, I think... You shouldn't have tried to buy her, so maybe you deserve it. What? Me? Buying her? I gave her the key to my home. That means I was giving her the rest of my life. You practically gave her the villa. What would she think? Of course she thought you were buying her with your money. Yes. Does Olivia love money? Right. Does she? First you should know what she really likes. You have to give her things based on what she likes. You should you should know more about her hobbies and stuff. Get to know her. He's right. She's a teacher, educated and refined. You can't always use your money. You should take her to concerts, operas, libraries, or theaters. Those kinds of things. That's what you should do. That might change her mind. Something elegant. I, I'm good at that. I work in the art circle. I'll take her to a performance or something like that. That's right. Some of the guests here said that they're seeing a play nearby. I heard that it's something about a drama prince. Maybe you should ask, uh... 
I forgot the guy's name. Jim Gua, isn't it? Jim Gua, yes, 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 yes. Really? That's him. I heard tickets are always sold out. If you manage to get tickets, maybe she'll be yours. Uh, is that a good play to watch? It's not bad. Not bad. I guess I'll buy two tickets then. Fine, Hurry and go. Leaving now. See you. Good luck. Okay, bye. You still stuck? <sighs> Fine, keep going. You're going out at this hour? Yes, I am. I'm going to work tonight. Going to work? Your job's at night? Stop asking questions. I have to work. You gotta tell me. What job is it? Why is it at night? I'm playing Batman. I help people at night. Hey, Harry, don't tell me. You're going to sing in the underpass? The city police is strict lately. If they confiscate your guitar, I can't help you get it back. What you're worried about will never happen, so just be cool, okay? Hey, don't rush. Eat something. So you'll have energy. So you can run fast if you have to. I won't have it. Do you really think they can catch me? Have you already forgotten? I used to play forward for our basketball team, right? And who holds the record for the 100 meter dash in school? I don't think they can catch me. Aside from those facts, I'll never do anything illegal. I don't want to go to jail. And I never accepted any help from Uncle Phil. See you. Hey, eat something. Now you can have it. Mom, can Dad really cook? <laughs> Your dad never cooked a meal all these years. He can't stand a kitchen. You wouldn't find him there to save his life. But today, he's making an exception for you, Olivia. <laughs> what if he breaks the dishes? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, Dad. Aren't you the wow, chef tonight? This is so great. It looks exciting. It is. Here, open it. What is this? A recipe? This is a petition letter from your students. Everybody put in their signature expecting your return. They're looking forward to it. I just hope you don't let the students down, Olivia. They want you back. Oh. I think I will accept this dish. But I... I don't want to go back there, Dad. Everyone now knows that I'm your daughter. And because of that information, people will think you're helping me. With whatever I do, I must prove myself somewhere else. I know your strengths, child. You don't need to turn your back on this. I can give you more time to think. <laughs> it's okay, Dad. I'm actually applying to be an English editor for People Weekly. Maybe I can do interviews everywhere. I think it's better for me to get a new job. Given that I won't do my old job. But you're only planning to apply for the job. You still have no idea if you'll get it or not. Mom, that's why I'll need you to pray for me to get the job. I'm expecting to get into a new industry. This is an interesting job. I'll do my best to get it. Okay, I won't force you anymore. There's still some time left before the final exam. Because think about it, you're always welcome to teach there. I'm not going to regret this, Dad. Just wait for the good news when I'm hired as the editor. I'm gonna try this. Your home no! <laughs> What? What was that, dude? Are you crazy? Why didn't you make a sound? Come on. Are you... Are you trying to scare me to death? Harry, 
Where did you go, and why are you home late? What are you up to? You need to tell me. It doesn't matter, okay? You asked the same question before I left. I told you I wasn't gonna break the law. I'm making money the legal way. Fine. We'll talk about it later. In a few days, I'm going back to work. You coming home late will affect my sleep. Then just go to sleep and let me do my job, okay? I'm not forcing you to wait up for me anyway. We sleep on different beds, it's not gonna affect your sleep. I don't care what job you have. Adjust your schedule. A teenager shouldn't be working this late at night. Why don't you just make a schedule for me? Record my timetable, remember when I leave and when I come back, so you wouldn't have to see me when you're here. We live in a small space. How can we avoid each other? I'm bound to bump into you. Cut the mystery, where did you go? Okay, I won't argue with you. Hello? Yes, yes, speaking. This is Olivia. Uh, did you get any reply from the People Weekly? Oh, no, miss. An international hospital is looking for an English receptionist. Your looks fit the bill, and you speak English fluently. Um, I wonder if you're interested in this job instead. Thank you, but I'm not. I don't have relevant working experience. Besides, I don't know much about the medical field. I'll just wait for People Weekly to reply, is that okay? I'm also okay with translating novels. For novel translators, the publisher doesn't really put weight on one's English level, but their literary background and experience. Miss Lin, many returnees can't find a job. A low-paying job is better than no job at all. You lack relevant experience, but I'm afraid you're asking for too much. Hey! Aren't you going to work today? I have no work lined up for today, but I'm meeting someone this afternoon. By the way, how's your job hunting going? Ugh, that's the wrong topic to bring up. I just got a call from someone asking me to be a receptionist at an international hospital. <laughs> That sounds pretty good, because she was kind of praising your beauty in a productive way. You've almost used up the money your dad gave you, haven't you? Don't deny it, Olivia. Are you always going to rely on your parents? Who's relying on them? I'm skilled and talented enough. I don't like to bank on my appearance. Mm. But honey, I think you should rely on it just this once because you need to. Do you know how many graduates are sitting on their phones waiting for a job offer? When you get a decent job offer like that, you should take the chance and be thankful for it. Come on. I have years of experience under my belt. I should be more in demand than you hands who just graduated. I know where you're in demand. Back at your father's school. If I were you, I would yield to him and go back to teaching high school again. There's always a way out. I'll just stick to waiting for People Weekly's job offer. So ambitious. If you get the offer, you'll be flying all over the world. I'll see if you can handle that. What's wrong with flying? I know someone like that. He even flies with plane. Why are you always talking about flying planes? Jack Oo is the only one you know who can fly a plane. Am I right? If you hadn't told me about your feelings last night, I would think you like him. Come on, you said it first. Flying all over the world and stuff. How could I like him? Are you insane? Teaching. Teaching! You should go back to teaching! Hey!
Mr. Sha? Uh, uh, Why are you sleeping here at the office? Uh, 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 so what do we have today? Your ticket, sir. All right. Uh, oh dear me, there goes my hard-earned money. You have connections. Could you maybe get me a ticket as well? Good connections don't help at all. Friends can't help either, so what I did was... I stayed up the whole night, waiting for returned or unclaimed tickets for the show. All right, I'll make you some coffee, okay? Thanks. Who is it? Delivery! I'm coming! Hey, 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 not so fast. You, you deserve a good scolding. Why did you open the door just for the delivery man? Do you know how dangerous the world is? Come on, this isn't right. You all pretend to be delivery guys. Wait, who, who else pretended to be a delivery guy? No, 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 I mean... I remember you telling me that gentlemen don't just appear unannounced. Oh, yes. <laughs> anyway, I'm here because time is running out. There is a huge gala happening tonight, and I came here to personally give you tickets. I'm so sorry. I'm busy today. I have to prepare my resume. Later, I have a job interview. Oh. Well, that's a pity because I heard that, that this plays a hit in other countries. It's extremely hard to get a ticket, but it's okay. I'll just... In um, that case, if it's hard to get tickets, uh, maybe I should take them. Oh. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> You're welcome. What time do I pick you up? <laughs> Thank you for giving me the tickets. It will be too much to ask you to pick me up later. I will drive there with my best friend. Uh, like I said, I'm very busy today. I'll treat you to coffee some other day. Plus, I'm not appropriately dressed, so I'm not going to invite you no, in. No, wait, okay? I... Uh... Come on. Do you think Olivia is really silly, or is she playing with me? What do you mean? I gave her two tickets to a gala performance, and she gladly accepted them. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. You give someone your money and your love, and they accept with a smile. Isn't that perfect, Phil? But she said she'll go with her best friend, uh, not me. <laughs> oh, this is a new problem for our old friend. It is. In order to get the girl you like, you gotta learn to deal with her best friend. Common sense, why don't you get it? Why didn't you get three tickets? Why should I buy three tickets? Do you seriously want me to take a third wheel to a date? Hey, her best friend happens to be a lawyer. You gotta be careful, she's talkative with a very slick tongue. Oh, I'm doomed. I'll be doomed then. I can't even handle Olivia, now there's another talkative girl. Come on, if you don't suffer now, how can you taste the sweetness of true love? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, wait, how about this? You go with me to the gala today. <laughs> All right? Pretend to meet me by accident and help me handle her bestie, okay? No, I have customers waiting to be served. Besides, Phil, someone booked my cafe for a special event. He's gonna propose tonight. Remember the lawyer my patient hired to crush me? I quit my old job because of him. No, Phil. No way. I can't, I can't. Don't look at me. I have to fly tomorrow. I really can't help you, okay? This is my time of need. What kind of friends are you if you can't help me during an emergency such as this one? Hey, you still owe me. You owe me money. This is payback time. I knew it. I was afraid you'd bring Pay up something now. you did. I was wondering when Phil would mention the money I borrowed and he really had to mention <laughs> Pay me it me back. Now. Right now. Could I just sing you a song? I'm gonna lose the love of my life and you're gonna sing me a song? Hey, wait. Didn't I go to your ex-wife's funeral for you? Aren't I helping you raise your son? What do you think, yeah? You're going too far. Just go to the gala. Fine, I'll go with you. Y you will? Yeah. <laughs> That's a deal, then. It's a deal. Why so angry? You gotta relax. Thank you. 
Angel, what in the world are you wearing? Aren't you gonna get dressed? We're going to a gala, you know. You have a lot of suits in your closet. Get changed. But I look good in these clothes anyway. Besides, why should I bother changing? You know me and you love me. In theater, getting dressed is basic courtesy. A way to show respect to the actors, not to me. <sighs> Fine, I'm gonna go get changed. But I thought about it, you know. Phil gave you two tickets to a posh gala tonight because he wanted to take you on a date. He didn't give you those so we can go together. Oh well, I've already refused this big villa. How bad can it be to accept two gala tickets from him? A big villa? What happened? The other day, Phil sent me some porridge when he heard that I was drunk. Then he took me to his villa in the suburbs. He gave me the keys to the villa and said I could be hostess to it if I wanted. Oh my goodness, you lost your job and your boyfriend, but you're still irresistible. Oh, well, of course. Oh, wow, girl, but if you really don't like the guy, you shouldn't have accepted the tickets. The only reason I took the two tickets to the gala is because I don't want to go further with him. Isn't it obvious at all? I was suggesting I wasn't interested. But the tickets are expensive, around a thousand yuan each. Uh, I'll just treat him to enough meals and coffee as payback. Besides Angel, he said even if we were not lovers, we can still be good friends. Dear, you're something else. It's like you're missing a screw somewhere up here. When you treat a man to meals or coffee, he will think you're interested in him. Please don't punish all men around you just because of what my brother did to you. Is that so? Yeah. Then I should be more cautious. Mm. I don't want to lead anyone on. Mm. It's almost time. Go get changed. Here. Two more tickets? This is great. You know what? Those two tickets really cost me a lot. So you need to help me by making sure someone's steering the third wheel tonight, okay? Do I look like a driver? Why should I do that to her? You're here to help me, right? It's part of the deal. And here's another task for you. When they arrive, do something to switch the ticket so I can sit next to Olivia. Sit next to her? Switch tickets? I don't know if I can manage Come on, that. Jack! Find a way to do it or give me back my money! I won't. But Jack, my happiness relies on tonight, okay? You're smart, so please, use it to help me. You think I'm yes, smart? Yes, you are. I'll think of a way. I got you. <laughs> uh -uh. Hey. <laughs> You're here, too. <laughs> so, uh, you have more tickets? Yes, we work in the same circle. The art circle, so I scored two more tickets. <laughs> That's right. Well, this lady... You've met before. I guess I don't need to introduce you. <laughs> yeah, no Discord, no Concord. <laughs> Phil shit. Angel, yeah. Oh, she's a... She, she's an angel. Jack, ooh. You? You know each other? <laughs> <laughs> Monsieur, of course, we meet again. Remember the thing I asked about last time? I'd like to ask you to get... They know each other. So let's go. Let's have some coffee. Okay, good idea. Wow, ah. this looks good. Sorry for waiting. Thank you. Just a quick snap. I'm going to post it on social media. Hey, it seems like a good show. Yeah. Where did you hear about well, it? Well, on the internet. <laughs> I think it'll be good. It seems like it. Oh, oh, oh. careful! Oh. What's oh, the matter? No. I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'll go clean it up. I'm terribly sorry, guys. Come it's on, okay. Jack. Why can't you be more careful? Are you... are you okay? He's always like that. A little careless. Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> so, uh, here. It's clean again. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. Let me wipe this. <laughs> Hi. Uh, <laughs> Hi, um, did you get the wrong seat? 
The third row, it's right. Oh. It's here. <laughs> Oops, I took the wrong seat. So embarrassing. Really? Let me see yes, your ticket. Yes, I got the wrong seat. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, can you please oh. check this? I can't find my uh. seat. It's the inside seat. Here, here, this way. Inside seat, Careful. huh? Be careful, okay. Stand, Stand up and do some back. Uh, this way. Here? Here. Uh, here's your seat. All right, there you go. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. Hey. Wait, let me check. Phil, the play is starting soon. Sit down or people behind you can't see. Are you antsy because you failed? But, uh, I switched the tickets. Why are you sitting here? I gave the ticket you switched to Angel. I'm sorry, man. She Students did it better. I learned their tricks when they try to sneak out of class. I'll go switch seats. Sit down. The show is starting in a minute. Enjoy it. <sighs> Come on, drink it. It's gonna relax your throat. I, I'd better not drink that. Whoever comes to sing jazz or rock likes to enjoy wine before the show. Then they'll feel a little less nervous. Uh, that sounds good, but I think I, I, I'm good with this. I like this better. You don't drink wine? Are you still a teenager, kid? You're underage, aren't you? I'm not. Then where's your ID? Did you bring it? Uh, it takes time to claim it. In a few days, I'll give it to you. Besides, each one has their own habits. Some like to drink before performance, some like to chew some gum, and I like to drink just water. All right. Water is healthy. I like it. You did a good job today. When you get your new ID, take it to me right away. Then we can sign a contract. If you do well this month, you're looking at a long-term gig. Great. <laughs> Keep practicing that. Okay. Good. Hey, did you lose something back there or what? I didn't. Why were you looking around during the play instead of watching? I wasn't. It was a nice play, wasn't it? Are you serious? My team can perform better than those peeps. Maybe I could watch one of your plays. I think it's definitely more interesting to watch a comedy because it's Comedy, like... really? Hey, what are you guys talking about? You look so happy. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? You look so happy. Thank you for this, Phil. The show is nice. Mm. <laughs> How about this? Let's go for a drink set in your by bar. I'm in. I still think they could have acted better. Anyway, I'll go if Jack goes too. Oh, I just remembered. I have a flight tomorrow morning. I have to be up early. Which means I can't go tonight. You guys enjoy. I'll get going. I, I can't go either. I just remembered that I have cases to review. Wh what? You're back at work and you didn't tell me? When did you go back to work? Come on, Olivia. You're no longer Harry's teacher. Why do you still care about his work? Well, you know what? You can't leave us hanging here. You have solved your problem, sure. But me? I lost my job, remember? So you have to be here for me. I know a popular bar in the neighborhood. Let's go. Follow me, guys. Let's go. Pad bar across? Yeah, sure, okay, okay. Well, let's just go after them. Come on. Okay, I've ordered for you guys. This one is an alcohol-free drink, okay? For designated drivers, yours. Yes, yeah, okay, great. This is alcohol-free, huh? Yes. I'll have one. I'm a pilot. What do I do? I fly planes. And when a pilot flies a plane... I know. As a responsible pilot, you can't drink alcohol eight hours before a flight. For plateau air routes, no alcohol within 24 hours, right? Olivia, since when have you been interested in the lives of pilots? I'm not, I just... I just read some articles about how pilots live here, so that's why I know. Oh, so many pilots. Can you tell me why some pilots are so mature while others are so naive? Huh? Huh? It's so unfair. <laughs> are we gonna drink or what? Yes, we are! <laughs> <sighs> oh, 
You know what, since I left Walton, I haven't found a reliable job. What do you think the reason could be? What do you look for in a job? To find a job, don't care about how much you make or earn, but instead, you should know what you want. A piece of advice, always stay true to yourself whatever job you end up getting. Don't lose sight of what you wanted from the very beginning. Come on, take my no, seat. No, 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 don't, no, 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 no need. I'm good. <clears throat> Wait, do you mean I have to be a teacher all my life since I chose to be one in the beginning? No, don't take it too literally. I'll explain it clearly. I mean, there's no superiority in work, Olivia. All positions are equal after all. What matters is your happiness. Got it? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Cheers, guys. Cheers, Cheers, everyone. Phil, thanks for the ticket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank Cheers. You. Olivia, toast with Phil. I'm gonna drive later. Go ahead, Phil. Sure, you enjoy. Let's do that. I'm gonna drive too. Thank you. Wait, wait, no, don't. What? Slow down. You tend to make a scene after drinking, and you don't know what you're doing anymore. Okay, you understand? Drink slowly. You only saw me drunk twice, and you think you know me well? Come on, Jack. No, wait. Olivia, toast with Phil. Twice, you said? Stop drinking. Remember how much trouble you caused Jack last time you got drunk? You left your phone at his house. He had to send it to you the next day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Come on, man. Take my seat. No, no, Here. no. No need for that. Don't. don't Just take up. my seat. Go ahead Olivia, so you can talk to her better. Phil. No, I insist. Take Cheers, my seat. guys. One more round. Me. Just sit. Come hey, on. Phil. Come on. Let's toast to that. Thanks, Phil. You're welcome. Thank you for the great show tonight. Cheers. <laughs> oh. Chang 我走之前，我相信誓言，未来总有相见。Yes, <coughs> so what is it? Are you the bar owner? Yeah. He broke the law. Got it? Broke the law. Wow. Are you trying to make trouble, or what? The boy over there, the one performing. Have you checked his ID? He said he lost it, waiting for a replacement. What? Are you a policeman? He trusted him at face value? He's underage, you know. Who the hell are you? I'm his father. Uh, Let's go. What do you think you're doing? It took me so much effort to get this gig. You gonna keep it up? What if they know how old you really are? You think they'll hire you? It's okay if you want to work. But you shouldn't come to this kind of place, Harry. You know what, kid? You better stop dreaming. You think you'll be famous singing in bars? What the hell were you thinking? I'm on your dad's side this time. Overnight success isn't the way to go. Hey, cut him some slack. Anyway, I have to work tomorrow, so we have to go. Let's go now, come on. Good job. Get in the car. Look! Even Uncle Phil doesn't want to drive you home anymore. Yeah, you bet I don't, Jack. We go different directions now. Is this about the tickets? I'm also wondering how Olivia discovered my trick and switched the tickets back, okay? That shows the problem better. You did a good job stealing her tonight, so congratulations! But I didn't steal her. I don't even know what I... I don't know how I feel about her. I was just trying to talk about it with you. You should have done that earlier. But I was... <clears throat> I wasn't sure if it's the right thing. But here's one thing I'm never wrong about. Our friendship's more important, you got that? I mean it, Don't try to fool me, okay, Jack? What happened today is obvious to anyone. You clearly have a thing for her besides friendship. And stop denying it because it's not doing anyone a favor. 
If you like her, you should tell me and I'll be happy for you to, okay? But it's not cool to steal her from me. When I send her food, I even ask for your advice. I was so stupid. Okay, sorry. I was thinking too much. Really, I, uh, I thought about it carefully. Fine, let's talk about it. We don't want those thoughts to go to waste. After working in this society for years, I thought I was immune to everything. You're the only person whom I trust with my personal thoughts and feelings, but look what you did to me, Jack. Am I really your friend or what, huh? You know what? Since we were children, you've been the boss and I was your assistant. I would defend you wherever we went, no questions asked. You think you're like the sun shining all over the world, don't you? Oh no! Listen to this, Jack. I don't want to see your face ever again. Hands off! <coughs> Fine. Shall we go home? Let's go. From what I know, Phil has a thing for you, Olivia. So why are you flirting with his best friend, Jack? What are you trying to pull? What are you talking about? We were just talking about getting a new job. We had a similar experience. Come on, stop pretending, girl. Anyone could see it. You two are beaming with joy. I just want to say I never saw you that happy even when you were with my brother, no offense. Really? Listen, you have no idea, do you? Do you know what this is, Olivia? Those too close to the fire cannot see it clearly. Okay, the two of you came back from Australia together and then went to Phoenix City together, right? Did something happen between you two during those times? Is there something you're not telling me that I should know about? Mm, we may have had a moment. A moment that had us really close. Really? When? Did it happen in Australia or in Phoenix City? When I was drunk and went to his house. I'm so confused about my feelings. Supposedly, I just lost my boyfriend. I shouldn't fall in love so quickly. I should give myself time to move on. You know how much we hated each other, right? Plus, he's not my ideal boyfriend. One thing is for sure, though, alcohol really affects your judgment. But not me. I can see and think clearly. And I think there must be something between you and Jack. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, tell me what he thought about your moment. Well, he mentioned it when he returned my phone. I remember that day. But then I told him to... to pretend that nothing had happened at all. Come on, why don't you give yourself the chance to feel something exciting? <sighs> Wait, if that's the case, what are you going to do about Phil? Anyone can see how he feels for you, Olivia, it's obvious. I am not interested in Phil at all. See? I heard that. A quick and steady answer. What does it mean? It means you don't like Phil, not by any chance. But you must be interested in his friend, Jack. Hmm? <laughs> Fire at me if you're angry. Leave the door alone. You really want that? Oh, you can't control yourself? Come on. Hit me here, right here, Jack. You want violence, don't you? You don't have to deny it anymore. Stop pretending. Like how you pretend to give me freedom, but you keep ruining the good jobs I managed to get just to get me back in school. Look at yourself, job hunting like a headless chicken. Have you found a decent job? You still sing for a living. Yes, I have found a decent job. I was doing well working for Fitch Lua. Do you know how you even got that job? I asked Phil to call the art director, to give you some tough work. But you failed to do it, Harry. You couldn't find a job without the help of my friend. <laughs> Is Uncle Phil still your friend now? You always seem to hurt all your family and friends. Fine, ruin my job hunting chances all you want, but you'll fail. I have the mind of a great man. I don't expect you to understand that. The mind of a great man? What a braggart you've become. Do you know what the mind of a great man means? You keep singing other people's songs. Why don't you sing your own? You can't because you're useless. Fine, call me useless all you want. You think you're so capable? You used me as an excuse to give up a new job. Is that useful? In fact, you want to stay at home and live off your past gains. At least I have past gains. What about you? You have nothing but a handsome face and talent for me. Let me tell you, you're wasting your life. <laughs>
最了不起的脆弱，迷惘不过就这样。天外有天，有无常；山外有山，有他乡。跌了，撞了，心还是会老地方。有离与城市的同样，错过了心爱的姑娘，宣告世界的那个理想已不知去向。为所欲为是轻狂，防不胜防是悲伤。后来再把成熟当偏方。当所有想的、说的、要的。记在心脏，行李箱里装不下我想去的远方。这来的、去的、给的、欠的，算一种褒奖。风吹草地间惆怅，看看至少还有光。把烦恼。会有个人。